We still do need to see Yuri's side. I mean, I kind of already gave my final thoughts on the mod, but I mean, let's do Yuri's thing right now. So, uh, let's go to this. We are not done yet. Oh, your first language is Spanish from Colombia. Oh, okay. So let's, there's just a lot of this is going to be skipping and reading Yuri's stuff. Eh, it's Yuri time. Even if you don't care about Yuri, the point isn't Yuri. We're, we're going to read books with Yuri, which is going to give us more backstory. <laughs> so even if you don't care about Yuri, Yuri's still important because we're going to get more backstory from the book we read with her, I'm assuming. <laughs> I just noticed 130 viewers. Yeah, we have a lot. Hello, everybody. I appreciate everybody coming to watch. I approach Yuri again. Hey, Yuri. Zero, you startled me. I'm sorry. No, don't worry. So, do you need something? I thought we could continue yesterday's reading. Oh, yes, I would like to do that too. Yesterday's reading? I didn't read with Yuri. Oh, wait, is this my first- hey, is this my first option? I didn't read with Yuri. Uh-oh, was that not the first option? Did I do a bad? Did I not save at the first option? Oh no, this is the first option. Hold up. Fixed it. My bad. There we go. Alright, I fixed it. Don't worry, guys. I fixed it. <laughs> uh, Zero, is something the matter? Not really. I just want to hang out around. I just want to hang around with you for a while. Uh, oh. Thank you, I mean... Harry gets red-faced. But it makes me a little happy. I mean... I sit beside Yuri while she's muttering. What do you usually do, Yuri? Um, me? Nothing really special. I just read in the corner. I thought so. I didn't expect something special. But I guess that's what you would do in a literature club. And what are you reading? Something interesting? It's very interesting. At least for me. I don't think people like Natsuki would enjoy it, though. But I could. Tell me about it. Okay, then. Here he takes out a book. On its cover, there's a girl with a shadowy face. Rule Balance. First time I've seen this book, or this title. Oh. Seems dark. What's it about? It's a horror book. A little on the softer side, but I like it anyway. It's about a lone goddess traveling around the world. The book talks about her contradicting feelings and the horrors she has to commit in order to keep the balance of the world, thanks to a cruel curse cast upon her. That's dark indeed. But it's interesting. I haven't read anything of horror in my life. Sounds good. Can I read it too? Right now, I only have one copy with me. Oh, I see. But... We could read it together. What? What? <laughs> oh, what? After realizing what she said, where he falls into panic. <laughs> Wait, I mean, um, uh, you... <sighs> I'm sorry, I just... Maybe my reaction was bad. I didn't expect she would suggest that. I sit against the wall, and then invite Yuri to sit beside me. Let's read it together, Yuri. Uh-huh. Yuri doesn't know what to do. I give her a little nod to reassure her. She then reluctantly sits with me in silence. Ooh, now we get the Yuri part of the CG. MC looks way more less spaced out in this one. <laughs> <laughs> he looks like he's somewhat paying attention. I was thinking for the dollar, Randy Ramson. Someone did emote only mode earlier. Never got around to doing that. Oh, someone did emote only mode? Okay, thank you for telling me. Well, you guys know the rules. <laughs> but, uh, we'll do three minutes.
Three minutes for you, people. She's blushing a lot. That's making me a little uncomfortable, too. I think I'm also blushing. Also, actually, fuck, I forgot to say- Thank you, Thumb Devil, for the Prime sub! <laughs> I, I almost didn't- Thank you there. Thank you. I appreciate it. So, the book. Uh, yes. I'm sorry. Here he opens the book and places it in such a way that both of us can read comfortably. Is it okay for you to start from the beginning? Don't worry. I already read this book before. Also, there are still some things that are unclear to me. So it's a good chance to read it again. I see. I start reading. Every time I finish a page, I nod to Yuri to turn the page. A little embarrassing I'm holding Yuri back from a reading, considering how sluggish I am. However, I can't concentrate at all. It's almost leaning against me. Her face is very close. So concentrated on the reading that she's not noticing. You know, like this for a good time. I managed to get get into it after a moment. I need to get into it after a moment. The story's very interesting. And explicit. Oh, here we go. Ooh. Okay, so this is... Okay, so since the other one focused on Maki, so this one's gonna focus on her. Okay. The lone goddess travels around different worlds, watching the mortals in their everyday lives, looking at their problems and sometimes even helping them. Okay, so she's a god. What? <laughs> She is a fucking god, excuse me? <laughs> okay. <laughs> See, exactly what I mentioned. This is more of a fantasy type element than good ending, because yeah, there's literal gods involved. <laughs> Alright, it's been three minutes, chat. There you go. Never too much, but without abandoning them. But one night, a dark witch cursed her while she had her guard down. The goddess has been cursed to keep balance in every world she visited from now on. If she only does good deeds, then terrible things will happen to the mortal mortals. If she does horrible things, then good things will happen around her. Yikes. But if she does nothing about it, bad things will happen anyway. However, she doesn't want anything bad happening to the people around her, especially those dearer to her. She kept struggling about her terrible destiny, because in one way or another, the mortals would suffer. She had no other option than start traveling again while having that heavy curse on her shoulders, trying to find a way to break it. That's all for now. Maybe tomorrow I can read more about this story if I read with Yuri. Wow, she has it like decently tough. <laughs> Not as tough as Maki yet, because she hasn't lost her daughter, but <laughs> just a very, I guess, st still just a shitty situation. That should be enough for now. Are you sure? Yeah. I'd like to see what the others are doing. Oh, I see. <laughs> Harry turns her head to look at me and realizes how close her face is to mine. She completely freezes, as do I. Yeah. A thunder startles both of us, and we separate. Not raining outside, but somehow loud thunder echoed here. <laughs> this weather's very weird. Here he gives me a small smile. I would like to read tomorrow again, Zero. Yeah, I'd like that too. I passed a lot of time with Yuri. However, Zero hasn't appeared yet, and I'm starting to worry. And now we go super sonic speed! Never underestimate sonic speed! Ah, um, um, 
What I pick? Fuck! I went to take a bite of food. <laughs> I'm the egg. <laughs> Don't underestimate Sonic speed, chat. Look at it go. Zero is the Eggman. Bro, get a load of this. <laughs> also, Jesus Christ, you guys put so many bit messages while it was timed out. I don't know if I can read all these, I'm sorry. But I'll just say thank you for all the one bits. <laughs> what did I hang out with today? Here I approach Yuri again. Hey, Yuri. Uh, Zero, you startled me. Sorry. No, don't worry. So, you need something? I thought we could continue yesterday's reading. Oh, yes. I would like to do that too. Go a little distant. But I'm glad she agrees. Zero, don't be lazy, read every bit message. It's not called being lazy, it's called actually wanting to continue the story for you guys. <laughs> I was like, I don't want to just sit here reading bit messages for the people who want to watch me, <laughs> who want to see the mod continue. So I, was like, I just said thank you. We both sit in a corner, side by side. Seriously, she has one book. I would like to ask her why, but... <laughs> yeah, Yuri. You know, you had another day to get another book for me. I'm, I'm starting to realize, uh, I'm starting to think you're just, uh, bringing one book on purpose now. <laughs> he just wants to be close to me. <laughs> Actually, now that I think about it, now that they brought that up, doesn't she still use, is, does she not still use one book in DDLC, or is it still, does she get you a copy eventually? Like the second time you guys read? I don't remember Yuri's route that well. So, like, does she get you a copy or do you guys just share a copy the entire time? She gives you a copy? Okay. <laughs> I was about to say, I was like, I could have swore I think she gives you a copy because you don't have to turn the page anymore. anymore, anymore. She gets you one. Okay, good. <laughs> she gives you one, but you still read together. Well, you can read together, yes, but it's like, Kale Zero needs to read more vanilla. It's okay, I'll get my refresher on the 30th. <laughs> I can feel it. She's tense. And not in a good way. Better not to say, it's better to not say something unnecessary. Start silently reading. The goddess realized what she would need to balance things. Great pain in her heart. Committed horrible things against her P.S. Her P. Her P.O.S. followers? Famine, plagues, fires, disaster, death, death, and more death. <laughs> it's a lot of death. <laughs> Every death she would feel that she was dying herself. As the curse predicted, prosperity and blessings came after the chaos passed. Her pious followers. Or pi yeah, pi pious. It's just pious? That's weird. It does not look like it's pronounced pious. <laughs> But it was too much for her. Seeing her followers suffered saddened her the most. Now didn't pray to her, but cursed her, treating their once kind goddess as a devil. Taking it anymore, she, she, she secluded herself into a cave in the roof of the world, away from everything. Only made things worse. Harsher disasters came over the world. I feel that because she was doing nothing, Everyone was suffering. She heard the lament of the ghosts haunting her. But one day, they found her. Her once pious followers, driven by rage. They believed that their goddess was the one bringing them their actual suffering. So they captured her. Blinded by their rage, they tortured her. Again and again. She would not die. She would never die. She accepted her destiny, her suffering. She thought, this is what I deserve. But even with that, the curse continued. 
and chaos was still present. But one day, a young woman approached her. And that'll be it for today. <gasps> the stories are clashing! At this rate, then we'll finish the story tomorrow. The stories are interweaving. I've, I've been gone for a while, but I'm coming back. I don't even know what happened. We learned that the white-haired girl's a god. She's a goddess. Oh. <laughs> and that her people have... And apparently, if she does something... She has to keep the balance of the world. So if something bad happens, then some, if she does something bad, something really good happens. But if she does something really good, something bad happens. Oh. She has to try to keep the balance. But now her followers have turned against her. Because, yeah, she realized that she would need to balance things. Her great pain, she committed horrible things. She had to commit horrible th pain things against her followers. And then she felt bad about it. But then eventually her followers were like, How dare you do this to us? And then they started torturing her. Oh my god. Yuri's not saying anything. Just closes the book silently. What should I do? Just as I was about to stand up, Yuri took me by the sleeve. Yesterday, we were talking like friends. I was so happy. After all, I wanted to be friends with Natsuki and you. But I don't know what happened. Yuri hugs her knees and starts trembling. Suddenly, I can't talk to you. I get tense and start shivering. Sorry. I nod silently and smile at her. But please keep in mind that I don't dislike you. And all sadly, she gets up to go back to her seat. It's like Sayori. She changed overnight with no reason. I don't like this. Pass a lot of time with Yuri. And now, never not! <laughs> <laughs> it was nice to have some time with Yuri. But the sun change our personality is, dis is, disconcer is disconcerting. <gasps> never underestimate Sonic speed! What? What is this? What did you start with? Doesn't matter! It doesn't? This is reading! Ah! <laughs> Yay, let's go. Skip, 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 skip. I love when you skip in this game because it just looks like everyone's bouncing around and being crazy. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. Why she dancing? <laughs> Sarah was dancing, dude. Wanted to make it exciting this time. She was dancing. Who should I spend my time with? <laughs> hmm. I think there's only two more Yuri scenes? Oh, then we have to see her die. <laughs> oh. Yuri and Natsuki are talking. I approach Yuri. You're... <laughs> huh? <laughs> Just backing away. And trembling. The look in her eyes. She's terrified. She just takes a book out of her bag and shoves it against me. And she runs out of the classroom. Not. Slams her fist against the table. And look. Looks like she would kill me at any moment. Anger is clearly visible. She just storms out of the classroom. What just happened? Also, what happened with Yuri? I just talked to her a couple of minutes ago. The book she gave me. It's the book that we've that we were that we've been reading. She wants to read she, she wants me to read it alone this time. I guess I should. If everything goes back to normal. I'll talk with her about the book. You're about to finish it anyway. Sit in a corner of the club. Alone, so everything is very silent. 
Concentrate in just a moment. Goddess, now abandoned and heavily wounded, was just lying on the ground. However, a young woman approached her, carefully started treating her wounds. Diligent and kind, like a mother treating her child. However, the goddess looked at the woman, and only saw a husk. Her eyes were dull, no emotion in her expression, and her chest was empty. She had no heart. Somehow, this woman lost most of herself. Sadness and emptiness remained. The existence of such a person made the goddess sad. Much sadder than the punishment she was receiving, but this is when she gives her her heart. Is this her fault? What could make someone reach such a state like that? Just as she thought, an idea came to her. Regardless of the curse, we could at least help this, this person. Goddess reached out, reached her, and reached to her chest, she extracted her beating heart, along with herself as a person, and gave it to the woman. The look of the woman was priceless. Bits of emotion ran through her face. Feel again. Even though the goddess was now the empty one, glad that at least she could help someone again. The woman decided to stay with the goddess to at least mend her loneliness. After that, curiously, the disasters ended. It was like the curse disappeared. However, the Dark Witch appeared again, with a great grin on her face. The curse just stopped temporarily, she explained. As long as her immortal heart is in the woman, the curse will be stopped. Once it returns, the chaos will begin again. When that woman gets tired of life, the goddess would only have four options. Find another unlucky vessel, force the woman to live on, make the tragedies happen again, or die. The witch disappeared with that premonition. Even with that, she agreed to stay with the goddess. With that, I'm done. It's a very interesting story. Okay, so eventually the goddess is gonna have to get that. So she's gonna have to get to give that heart to somebody. Either that or. Mm -hmm. Make tragedies, yay! <laughs> I feel like telling someone else's life. Like a biography. Whatever. Finished. Let's come back. We've been here for like an hour or so. Hmm. Huh. Nobody around. I wanted to ask someone, but. Ah! Why can't I skip this? <laughs> this is different? Okay. <laughs> I guess this. Hey. Hmm? You are... All right. You're in the literature club. Is something the matter? Yeah. Have you seen Yuri? The tall purple-haired girl? Oh, that's the different thing. <laughs> Yuri. If I'm not mistaken, she was heading to the infirmary. Infirmary? Did something happen? I don't know. But she was very shaken about by something. I see. Thanks. They're heading there. That should be enough. I arrive at the infirmary. Oh, so this is the door scene for Yuri. No one here. Someone is on the bed. Yuri? As she heard my voice, she covered herself with a blanket. Suddenly, I can't talk to you. I get tense and start shivering. Sorry. This time is worse. Zero? Are you still there? I am. Yes, I'm literally across the room. <laughs> Goodness, no one is here. This would be more awkward than it is. Aw, oh, he on bed. <laughs> you are? Just takes a quick glance at me. At least like this, nothing should happen. <laughs> Mary's starting to cry. I'm sorry. 
I'm sorry, Zero. I can't suppress this fear. I just want to run away from you. Even though you're such a nice person. Keep talking to me when I'm this weird. Just keep sniffing. This hurts me. You must think I'm a horrible person. <laughs> Why is this happening? I just wanted to know you. Talk to you. This fear just suppresses my feelings. Her feelings? Huh. I wanted to be closer to you. Go out with you. To... But... I'm sorry, Zero. Now she's really crying. Talking to her might just make her more afraid. What fuck is this? She's bearing her feelings in front of me. And I can't do anything. This is a curse. My chest hurts so bad. It's suffocating me. The book's still in my hands. Take a pen and write something on the last page of the book. Silently give it to Yuri before I leave. <laughs> I too wanted to be closer to you. Sorry I can't say it. Just keep in mind that I don't hate you. Zero. I don't know what happened with Yuri. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, boy, Yuri. There we go. We thank you for the uh, thank you for the resub, Natsuki. All right, so now this is gonna be skipping for a while. I think so. Yeah, this because we gotta get to Yuri. Die. Oh, there's this. I'm sorry, Zero. Is that a while? We seem like we're close. Yeah, that's a that's a replacement for the Natsuki scene. Is now it's Yuri. Okay, no. that's cool. I never noticed actually that that was the Natsuki scene every time. But no. Okay. Now we get to see Yuri die. There she is. <laughs> oh. <sighs> Zero is coming to the club today, right? I'm getting nervous. I don't know how I'm going to react. Why is it so hard to talk with him? I can't even get close. Just thinking about it makes my heart race. And not in a good way. What is happening to me? I take out the book and read the words that Zero wrote for me. Zero. <laughs> what? Did something happen? Oh no, scary time. <laughs> Monica? Something is wrong. Why is Monica here? What is it? You said you wanted to tell us something? Monica, is something wrong? Yuri, can you show me the book you've been reading with Zero? Why would you want to see it? Hmm? What is it, Yuri? It's just the book. I don't know why, but Monica is scaring me. S Sorry, right now... I have to... Uh, I can't move. Monica's taking my book. Hmm. I don't understand. Even though you fear Zero, on the inside you want to be closer to him. Why is that? 
I've seen this pattern hundreds of times. It doesn't matter what I do, the result is always the same. It's either you, or Natsuki, or Sayori. But never me. Not anymore. What are you talking about? <laughs> Wait, what are you... G get away from me! What's with that asterisk? Why, why didn't they just say she smiled? <laughs> now then, I guess Natsuki is next. Okay, so then, now we get to see what Yuri- Now we get to see what Yuri looks like, dead! <laughs> hey! The more I walk around the school, the more uneasy I feel. Also, I still don't see anyone. Hmm? I think I saw someone in the corner of my eye, through this door's window. No! Oh, oh. She's up against a wall! I can't tell how she died, though, unlike Natsuki. She stabbed? She cut? So. She was cut in her face. She was stabbed a lot. Yeah, so she was like cut. cut. Yeah, she was cut up. Yeah, look at her. Yeah, oh yeah, her arm is torn. Yeah, so look at that. She was cut up. Yeah, she's all cut up. And I'm like thrown against the wall and I jumped. <laughs> Yuri! What the hell? What the hell? She has numerous cuts and stabs all over her body. But there's no knife around. Yuri. Someone attacked her. So yeah, there's no knife around, so now I'm wondering. So is the way that they're, she's attacking her just like with the coach, just like forcing cuts to just appear on her? <laughs> like, is that how they're doing this? <laughs> It could have been. It could be like they're they're doing it to the point where they die. Yeah. Yeah, it's like she's just like causing cuts with the code. That's what I'm thinking. Or Monica has a knife. <laughs> I in guess. That one, in that one picture, you can see her holding a knife. Oh, maybe. Well, Yuri is like holding her arm, so she probably just took it with her. <laughs> the book we're reading is beside her, on the last page. The message I wrote is now ineligible because of the blood. Damn it! a desk with all my force. How did this happen? Yuri. If only that curse hadn't existed, I would have known you better. But I only hurt you. I feel tears burning my eyes. Damn it, Yuri. <laughs> what? Yuri's body is... Disappearing. No! Just as I'm about to move. She disappeared. Just a puddle of blood remains. What the hell was that? Yuri's book remains too. I take the book and contemplate it. Yuri. What should I do? I should tell someone about this, even if it's hard to believe. But who? Apart from Yuri, I haven't seen anyone here. I'll try with the counseling room. And just like base DDLC, Natsuki gets off-screened. <laughs> yeah. What was that? And then chill runs on us. Okay. Everything's basically normal. All right, so we basically saw everything. <laughs> Get to the end, just in case. I'm pretty sure we saw everything. Oh my lord. Yeah. Hey, it just says now Yuri's dead. I don't know if Natsuki's safe either. <laughs> That's the only difference, I think. Yeah. Yeah, where's Natsuki? Because we haven't seen her. Natsuki just takes place for Yuri, and she got Natsuki. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, pretty much everything is okay, and everything is pretty much the same. All right. Yeah. Oh God. Okay. Okay. <laughs> the game looks scary when you skip on those cards. <laughs> like, okay. okay. 
you get it, you're breaking. <laughs> All right, well, there you go. We have saw, we have seen everything for act one. But yeah, uh, like I said, I think I've already given my opinions on it when we kind of went to the title screen, my ending opinions. I really like this. I'll definitely be playing act two whenever that comes out. Yeah. Obviously, you know, a whole take, obviously, should don't, obviously, you know, like the author said, is like, don't, they don't have any plans for act two just yet, but it's like, you know, that's okay, obviously. You don't want to rush it. You got to take your time. So, yeah, it's like, I'm definitely, definitely a good mod. I enjoyed myself. But anyway, yeah. if you want to play this for yourself, I'm moving the fan art thing. <laughs> Zero, as he adjusts the fan art thing. But I uh, <laughs> want to play this for yourself. The link is in the description below. And yeah, this has been Zero. Peace. Bye.